Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, there's a bit of a recording issue. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's gonna be uploaded into two parts. So this is gonna be, yeah, this is probably gonna be the once and only time this is actually gonna happen. Sorry about that. Uh, let's continue. All right, so I went back and I saved. At least I think I did. Hold on, let me just fast forward. No, I'm not gonna fast forward because I don't have that equipment. Or do I? No, I don't, I'm just messing with y'all. All right, let's head back. Let's save. Let's head back up. All right, because uh, I don't know how the time is gonna work. So, I'm probably gonna make this video a little bit longer than normal. That's good for you guys. I mean, for y'all who actually watch my videos. Anyway, but we saved. Let's head to the gum base, which I would think would be over here because there's literally no other place to go. Alright, let's keep shooting. Jumping and shooting. Shooting some more. Oh god, I got hit. Why did I jump? What? I'm getting my gosh, I'm getting turned over. Alright. Alright, let's make this jump. Oh wow, I didn't even have to save. I forgot that there was a save point here. What do you want? Let me give you a tip. If you hold the jump button while a fan blows you around, you'll fly even higher. I already knew that. I already knew that. Do you want to save? Yes, I would. Game saved. Alright, jump. That messed it up because I accidentally hit the pause. The quick select menu. Alright, let's jump. Jump! Made it. Now here, I want to jump. Get this health. I don't need missiles. So jump back down. And made you jump! I didn't make it. Jump! Alright, there we go. And jump. Made it. Use the gum key. So, remember when I said there was a boss in Grass Town that makes that this gun makes it a whole lot easier? This is the place. Open the treasure chest. I got the gum base. Oh god. Oh. We meet again. Do you remember me? Indeed, in the Mimoga village. I hadn't noticed before, but Aren't you a soldier from the surface? I wasn't aware there were any left. Hey, Balrog. Misery, watch out. That one's a fighter. Stronger than a Mimiga, even. You don't say. Ah! Soldiers are your duty. Come back when this one's in pieces. Yeah, so this gun makes this boss fight way easier. Wanna know why? Because the second you jump over here, it's gonna summon all these little bees at you. And if you use anything else, it'll freaking murder you. So, your best combination of weapons here is this and the rocket launcher. Right now I'm gonna use a rocket launcher. Gonna wait for this to reload. Jump over. Have the bubbler online. Fire there. Fire there. And then fire! No, actually, yeah, your best combination of weapons is the bubbler. And the rockets. But I recommend that you use the bubbler. So seriously, get the bubbler first. Because this boss fight is so, so much easier when you're doing it without it. I mean, with it. You never know out there. You're, you're, you're gonna be here a while. And like, you could keep this tiny shield, kill all these people, and just like that, in one, two, three, dead. He's defeated. Alright. Fought off Balrog. Let's get it. Alright, so let's head out. Jump, jump, save, 
That's what I would love to save. All right. Uh. Yep, I can make that jump. Next thing's next. Level up my Polish star because I got walloped. I'm surprised I came out with full health after that fight. Because normally I'm normally I'm around. Uh, normally I'm around uh, like zero health. Um. Another thing is, you can change the difficulty in this game from easy, normal, and hard. I'm playing on normal because I, I'm not, no, this game on hard is no. The part that makes it hard is, you only have six health. You only have six, no, not correct that, correction, you only have three health. You only, have, you only have the amount of health that you start off in the game, and you're supposed to make it from there all the way to the end, and there's no special weapons, nothing like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's nothing special about that. None at all. Now, I'm heading up here, because I want some health. Wait, no, I don't. I just want to make sure that all my weapons are leveled up. I'm gonna head back in here, and I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna heal, and I probably should have done that first, so back to saving. Heading out, fire and stuff, jumping the other way, and we are off to get our next thing. What is that? We're off to get some charcoal. Now how are we gonna get some charcoal? Remember back in Santa's house? How it said the charcoal like burn like fiercely. So that's how we're gonna get the charcoal because where else would we get it? Can't get it at Chicago's house because we use her fireplace to get through and Yeah, we kinda of did some other stuff. That's why we have the lipstick. But don't worry, there, there, there's an item in this game that's way way worse than that. If you, if you think this guy's bad now, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Woo! Alright. Going back down here, kill these jellyfish for health, and kill these last crystals or gems. I don't know if they're crystals or gems. They, they look more like gems to me. Or crystals. They, they could be all of crystals. I, I don't know. I don't know. Alright. I think my nuts, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So, there's gonna be a point in this game where if you don't do a certain thing correctly, and that's not even for a while now, if you don't do a certain thing correctly, you won't get the best ending of the game, and it's so specific. I cannot stress it enough. Like, oh, I cannot stress it enough. All right, so, heading back, Ooh, shooting. Why am I only using the Polish star? Like, I have so much other weapons. I have the fireball. I have my rocket launcher. I have my bubbler. Like, I have so many weapons that I'm not using. Why, why, why is that? Why, why, why is that? Oh, probably because I haven't leveled up my Polish star to the, the max level yet. As soon as I do that, then maybe I can use another weapon. God. My brain just sometimes just things on its own, but I don't even really understand. G gaming wise, guys, g g gaming wise, not 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 the other way around. Nasties. Man, I'm probably not supposed to think like that. Damn. All right, we got the jellyfish juice, and we're headed back to Santa's. Yeah, Yo, you got another weapon for me, bro? Like. Like, if you could get me another weapon, that'd be great. That'd be really great. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. Sorry, Santa. Do you want to use the jellyfish use? Yes, I do. You find something in the ashes. You got the charcoal. Yeah. Sorry about obstructing your peace, Santa, but you're really not stopping me, so later. Jeez, that man is a little too nice. Alright, use the fireball. Stop everybody in the wake. Okay, listen, I said stop everybody. Yo, yeah, you guys ruining fun. 
All right, and the last ingredient was jellyfishes. I almost forgot. I need the bobbler. Oh, I want to die. I want to live. I can shoot things. Alright, kill all these jellyfish. Seriously, guys, you got a bobbler. Not that many people, like the first time they play, not that many people remember that that's there. So, yeah. Do that. Get the bubbler. Guys, seriously. Get the bubbler. Ah, oh, level down. Yeah, I leveled up again. Woo. Alright, kill you. Cause you don't even deserve one. Just give me a juice. Got the jellyfish juice. Alright, you're probably wondering, but I'm new, how are you gonna get back? Don't you need to use Chikao's thing? Get them, so you can't double up on jellyfish juice? Yeah, I know that. I know you can't double up on jellyfish juice. That's why. We got that panel down there to use ourselves to propel ourselves up. But I'm actually gonna add the Chikao sauce. Why? Because I need to save. I need to save a game. Because what if we have another instance where I fail at life? And then end up back here. And then we'd have to like restart from that point and get the bubbler and level it up. And yeah, no. No, I'm not, I'm not doing all that again. Not. Alright. Fire! Fire! Yeah, so I'm gonna make this video very lengthy. I mean, like, super lengthy. My god, it's gonna be so long. You guys are gonna be like, why did he upload this long? I don't, I don't have this much. I don't have this much time in my day to watch this YouTube video. But if you do, let me know in the comments. Wait, like, seriously, I want you guys to be involved because you guys are a part of this, a part of this as much as I am. I want to get you guys involved because I'm gonna, because I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. I honestly want to know how you, what you think. Not that I'm striving for approval or anything. It's the exact opposite. Just trying to be me. Alright. We have all the ingredients, so we have to head back to that nice little robot that smashed up back in the back in the power room. So we can get a beam. Get a nice little beam. Nice little bum. Head back in here. Boom. We're not in the power room. We're gonna talk to you again. Have you found all the materials yet? Oh, the charcoal. Oh, the jellyfish juice. Oh, even the gum base. Then let us begin. Sweet. It is finished. Got the explosive. Looks like a futuristic grenade. Go on, blow that door up. Thanks. It's actually really cool for a robot. Alright, time to use some of these rockets. Yeah, that, I figured that much. Dude, I love this gun. Alright, talk to the crack one more time. Well, you got the bomb ready yet? Yes, I do. Set the explosive. Ready? Uh, Woohoo! Man, I could have made it this and his name is John Cena on meme, but that that's old. You did it, my boy. First of all, you're probably 19. Who you calling my boy? Unless you're doing a ghetto. Hmm. I knew you could do it in the minute I laid eyes on Wow, I messed that up. Hold on, Rippy. I knew you could do it in the minute I laid eyes on you. No, well, I knew you could do it the minute I laid eyes on you, blah. Anyway, my name is Kazuma. Kazuma Sakamoto. You can call me Kazuma, that's fine. I was lucky enough to escape from the doctor, but unfortunately my teleporter sent me here. I thought I was going to starve. I owe my very life to you. Oh, by the way, you wouldn't happen to know where the Mimiga village, would you? Sue? You've met Sue? Ah, I see. You came in Sue's place to find me. Alright then. Lead the way to the village. Huh? Old dude. 
Kazuma, Professor Booster, you're safe. Yes, more or less. And how is Sue? Is she alright? She's at the Mimica village. This young fellow was just about to guide me there. Ah. Oh, do you two know each other? No. No, we've never met. Never mind, we must hurry to find Sue. The doctor has begun gathering the Mimicas. It seems he has become aware of the red flowers. But Sue, will the red flowers affect Sue as well? Just like the others? Kazuma! The doctor has begun gathering the Mimicas. You know what that means, don't you? You, you mean the war? He... Precisely. We have no choice now but to stop him. Stop him? But how? I have an idea. For now, let's just hurry to where Sue is. We'll talk then. You two, come along. Oh well, damn. Alright. Stop. I think... Yep. This is a perfect time to call it, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for everything, guys. In the next video, we will explore. Well, not explore. Sorry for this little outline. There you go. Uh, next time, we will head back to Mimica Village and see what we can do to, you know, save the Mimicans. Alright, this is D. Olivero signing off. Later!